Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shauna from Created and Made, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a technique by which you can use your alcohol inks to make a spread in your art journals. Now, normally, you have to do something to your art journal pages because they are usually porous pages and alcohol ink works best on non-porous surfaces. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a technique to use your inks in your journals and we're gonna make this sweet little art journal spread together. Stay tuned. Okay, let's jump right in. I am cutting here a piece of glassing paper. Now this is a roll, a glassing paper roll. They come in sheets, they come in bags. You've seen glassing paper. Um, this stuff is actually really good for alcohol ink. I mean, it, the ink moves really well on there. And what I'm doing is I, I cut myself a piece and I just balled it up. Now I did this because it helps me get some texture in the final piece. It helps lock in some movement in the ink once once it's all said and done. But I balled up my glassing paper. I'm going in with some blending solution and I'm going to get this alcohol ink moving on this page. Now this was a process. I went through, I added several different colors, several different greens and a blue there. But I blended it, I moved it around, and then I, I came in with my heat tool and dried the layer. And then I went on top of it and did some more and dried the layer. I mean, I'm not going to show you guys everything. I think I cut some of it out. But I just kept going until I was happy with what it looked like. I mean, some versions, some iterations of it, I was like, oh, that's too blue or oh, that's too green. Um, so I just kept going until I was happy with what it looked like and if you dry the layers you won't get so much movement or blending um, when you go in with some more ink so that's what I'm doing here and once it's all dry uh, I will show you guys what I do with it and how I adhere it down but see like I just said I'm going in again with another layer here and I will dry this layer down as well now with alcohol ink, I've talked about it before, you know, you generally want to work on non-porous surfaces. You can make a surface non-porous by adding gesso or matte medium. You can make it less porous, I should say. But there are papers like this, like glassing paper, that are naturally going to move the ink around pretty well. Like it's not soaking that ink in. So the alcohol ink will sit on top, it'll move around very well. and <clears throat> with glassing paper in particular it has a sort of a sheen to it like a satin finish that I I really like so I'll drop a link in the description to a couple I have a couple different ones that I've used one that comes in sheet form and then one the roll that I just showed you so I'm adhering this down to my five and a half by five and a half inch Arteza art journal I'm just using some matte gel medium now I'm not going over the, usually when you adhere using matte gel medium, you go over the top with the matte gel. I'm not doing that here. I'm using my brayer. I'm flattening it all out, but I'm not going over the top with the matte gel medium because it is indeed matte and like it will take the shine off and I, I like the shine. So I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to go over the top with the matte gel medium, I'm just using it on the underside to adhere and then I'm going to go ahead and trim this off and I'm going to add some gesso to my edges to the one ripped edge to make it not so um, obviously not so obvious I'm just gonna use a gesso to sort of blend blend it all in there now I let this dry I made sure I pressed in um, at the crease really well so that the paper would adhere where where the book is bound I don't want it to rip at, at when I'm opening or closing it so you just want to make sure you get a good adhesion there in the the binding of the art journal and now I'm going to go in with my heavy gesso and blend out this ripped edge here 
Now, the reason why I left an edge is I just doing the whole page just seemed like a lot. This is a very busy um, pattern. It's a lot, you know, it's a lot of movement. It's a lot of color. And so I, let, I wanted to leave some white space there. I'm usually not a white space <laughs> kind of gal. I like to cover, you know, corner to corner with, with color. But, but I decided to leave some here. And I think ultimately I like the way that it came out. Now, I am going to be making a focal point and I'm using alcohol ink and glassing paper to do that here and I'm just going to go in with several different colors of yellow that is dandelion I have um this is these are actually alcohol pearls so I'm off camera I'm, I'm shaking them up so I'm going in with with some whatever the color of that is and then this one is Dijon which is a very dirty yellow and so I'm just get this all mixed in I'm going to use this for my focal point it's going to be a a cute little tree and these will represent the leaves it's very easy very easy to do here there's and there's no like there's no super artistic um talent being demonstrated here now this is also alcohol ink although what i'm using it on is mixed media paper and so what you're going to see is that this on this porous surface that ink is just going to sink right in and that's fine um i'm i'm fine with that i like the look of it how using the two different browns here now this little tree um this little focal point tree i actually have a set of these and i'm going to be adding a bunch more but i have a tree set available on my etsy shop it comes with um i think 12 different trees that can be used for these focal points now just ripping out a shape like this and adding the tree now look at that that's just instant focal point and it has a lot of you know um, interest to it with the glassine paper being translucent now what I ended up doing was taking several pieces of the glassing paper and binding them all together to give it a little bit more depth than just using the one piece and it is translucent so I didn't want to be able to see through it as much as I could using just one piece so I just freehand ripped some of that yellow paper and now I'm going to make my little tree see how cute that is now these like i said these trees are made from canson mixed media paper they i cut them here in my studio and they will be available in my etsy shop if you're interested i'll leave a link in the bottom now what i'm doing here in the bottom i'll leave a link in the description what i'm doing here is I don't know what I was going for <laughs> here. I was just trying to make this alcohol ink a little more fluid, um, but I didn't want to add alcohol to it. I don't know what I was doing. Usually fluid, medium, and alcohol ink don't go, they're not meant to go together um, because I think the fluid medium is acrylic based, but you know, whatever. It's mixed medium. There, uh, It's mixed media. There are no rules really. And I accomplished my goal here. I just wanted some orange splatters using that amber orange color from um, the alcohol ink now what i'm also doing is i'm painting with the same orange color some little birds that as well are available in my etsy shop there's a bird set and a tree set and i'm gonna have a bunch of different sets because i use these a lot I am a, the queen of backgrounds. Like I have journals full of backgrounds with <laughs> nothing on them. And so I find that having these sort of pre-made, ready to paint, ready to decorate um, focal pieces has just really made, you know, my art journaling a lot more straightforward. I can get more done. I'm not, you know, sitting there contemplating what the focal point is going to be, where I'm going to get it from, how I'm going to cut it out. So again you can check out those birds in the description as well now i printed out this quote on a piece of the mixed media paper and i am just trimming it out here and i'm going to ink the edges with my archival distress in um whatever this color is i don't know ground espresso or something or other <laughs> um i'm sure i will as I'm doing this voiceover, the, the titles are not showing, but I will put a title to show what color that is. Now, that is my sentiment. I am gluing down my focal point here. 
and we're going to get everything all adhered down. Now I'm going to go and do some splatters. I'm going to darken my edges and get everything finished off. I will put some music on for you guys and I'll be back at the end. Enjoy. Well, I hope you guys like how this one turned out. I do. And if you did, please go ahead and leave a like on the video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. Now, I hope to see you guys next time. And in the meantime, have a creative day. Bye-bye.